Starbucks will exit Russia after 15 years, closing 130 licensed cafes. Here's a summary of the article. Starbucks announced Monday that it will exit Russia. The company has 130 locations in the country, which account for less than 1% of its annual revenue. After 15 years operating in Russia, Starbucks will exit the market, joining companies like McDonald's, Exxon Mobil and British American Tobacco in withdrawing from the country completely. Starbucks has 130 locations in the country, which account for less than 1% of the company's annual revenue. Starbucks has suspended all business activity with the country since March 8. The pause included shipping all Starbucks products and temporarily shuttering cafes. The company had roughly 850 restaurants in Russia, most of which were operated by the company instead of licensees. This post received a score of 41,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Huh. Wonder if my Starbucks Moscow mug will become a collectible item one day. This shit is nuts. My thought too. It's pretty cool, shaped and designed like a matryoshka doll. I have our venti nesting doll for. Is this Peter? Petroy? Pyota? Greater than venti this is why I hate ordering at these places. Just call the sizes large, small, smaller, even smaller, incredibly small, false smallest, painfully small, and actual smallest like the rest of us. I don't go to Starbucks of my own volition, but because the place we planned to go to turned out to be closed, my date suggested we go to a Starbucks nearby. I told the person behind the counter that, I'll have a medium, whatever it was I picked. You mean a venti? Edit. Maybe they said grande or tall. I didn't care enough to remember. Sure. And that's the thrilling tale of how I ordered my drink without submitting to their tyrannical naming scheme. That is, completely by accident. I haven't yet found a Starbucks that gives a fuck if you call it a large. Greater than 130 licensed cafes. Wow, it's incredible. They only existed on one city. One city block, actually. There is a ring of Starbucks around the Kremlin. No wonder Putin felt threatened. Putin defeated by caramel macchiatos. The last straw was when the macchiatos were all misspelled for Putin. Valdemir. Russia to launch, dumb Starbucks? I had no idea that was a Nathan for you skit until recently. That's cause you didn't graduate from one of Canada's top business schools with really good grades. Greater than the company has 130 locations in the country, which account for less than 1% of its annual revenue. Starbucks said it will pay its nearly 2,000 Russian workers for six months. The first part of that is probably the biggest factor in the decision. Since the Russia market makes up so little of their business in the first place, it would be perilous to continue. The second part does show some humanity but I wonder whether those employees will even be able to find other work at all, because the money they are now getting paid is also much less valuable than it was a few months ago. I think the reason why companies pay those workers is because money there is in rubles and sanctions so giving it to the workers is likely better goodwill than letting a government keep it. And Starbucks can't convert it without taking a massive loss. So they get rid of whatever Russian cash they have left, which is pennies compared to what it was six months ago, and get a lot of free good publicity out of this whole ordeal. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.